It's Nardwar to Human Serviette here in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. Yet another dreary day in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. But we're cruising down Howe Street here in Vancouver and oh my god! I can't believe it! It's Janet from Sleater Kitty. Hey Janet, how you doing? Come aboard! Hop aboard! I'm surprised to see you here in Vancouver, BC. What the hell are you doing here? Well, Slater Kinney came up last night to play a Rock for Choice benefit in Vancouver. And what are the other members of Sleater Kinney, their names? There's Carrie Brownstein and there's Corin Tucker, who both play guitar and sing quite beautifully. And Janet, you're the drummer and you're from Portland and the band is from Portland. Were you inspired by the Simpsons at all? Give a bit of background on that. Love joined Flanders. What's the deal on that? <laughs> well, we love the Simpsons. However, we got the band name uh, from a street in Lacey, Washington. Um, and I wasn't even in the band at the time, so you're going to have to ask my bandmates about that because I have no idea. You know, Janet, I'm sorry asking all these Portland questions. I guess there's Olympia quotient for Sleater Kinney, too, isn't there? Well, you know, don't ask me about it. Let's go in and ask Carrie. Oh, yeah, let's holiday in. This is where they stay with a luxurious mansion. Janet, lead me to them. Lead me to them. Lead me to Sleater Kinney. So, Janet of Sleater Kinney, thank you of leading me to your bandmates. Uh, who are they? Here they are. It's Carrie Brownstein, Corin Tucker. Hi, we're Sleater Kinney. Hello. <laughs> And you guys, Slater Kinney, love Canada so much, you named your new album... The Hot Rock. And there's a Canadian connection to that. What is The Hot Rock? Well, it can be taken as many different things. Uh, a diamond or a gem, which I believe they have, probably have some of those in Canada. Or a great movie starring George Segal, who filmed the movie Russian Roulette at the Hotel Vancouver in Vancouver. Oh, oh okay. What's Hey Sound Guy zine all about, Corin? Well, it was a little thing I put together on the Dig Me Out tour, uh, just documenting all the sound people we had on that tour. I took their picture and read about them. So sound men would come up to you and say various things. Any interesting little antidotes you'd like to parlay? Well, um, I, some of them were really great, and some of them were um, kind of terrible. But uh, the, probably the, one of the weirdest ones was in Atlanta, and, and the guy... Um, told us that we were in his stage and that it was a, the whole room was a triangle and we had to fit in accordingly. Sleater Kinney, you guys have stayed on Kill Rock Stars, which I think is amazing, an indie label, right? Yes. Have you been bribed with anything? Because Rose of the band Tiger Trap was once bribed with a turntable to join a major label. Have you guys been bribed with anything? Just lots of nice dinners. Because I was thinking you're from Portland, Oregon, and Portland, Oregon is home of Janssen Swimwear, right? That's correct. So, Janet, has any Janssen Swimwear been thrown at you guys? A few very, very tasteful bikinis, but it uh, didn't work. In your new video, are you guys, what are you doing exactly? Is it anti-music industry or is it conspiracy? Well, it's maybe um, a little of both. It's sort of... Because you're dead in it, aren't you? Well, I don't know if we're really dead. I think we're just bored. We're bored, yeah. And we kind of get, maybe we're spiritually brought back to life. Sort of like an X-Files episode, even. So Sleater Kinney have done a lot of gigs. I mean, I was pretty impressed when I heard you played the Doc Markin stage at the Reading Festival. Jarvis Cocker came one day your gigs? Jarvis he, Conker? He did. He had sunglasses on, I was told, but I never saw him. But one of the most impressive things of Sleater Kinney, though, Carrie, is your grandmother showed up at one of your gigs. What does she think of you guys? A grandmother rocking to Sleater Kinney? Uh, my grandmother's fairly uh, proud of Sleater Kinney. I don't really know if she understands the music or if it affects her the same way it affects our fans, but she likes watching. And I just make sure that no one moshes around her. No one can mosh my grandmother. You inspire people to do pretty crazy moves, but you have some crazy moves yourself, Carrie. How would you describe Carrie's stage moves at all, Corin? Well, I think they're, they're pretty spontaneous and almost combustible. They're pretty great. <laughs> really spastic, isn't it? <laughs> pretty spastic, especially from behind.
continuing on with Portland, Oregon. Janet, um, Nike, you have some tie-ins with Nike, don't you? Sleater, Kinney, Indie Rockers, Nike, <laughs> what's the connection there? Well, I, I actually worked for an advertising, an evil advertising empire for a matter of years, and it was the Nike advertising company. But I, I quit, I washed my hands of it, and I moved on to, to greener pastures. So we're staying at the hotel here in the Holiday Inn, a beautiful hotel. What do you do on tour? Are there any idiosyncrasies that Janet has on tour at all, Corin? No, we don't, we don't tell our secrets on national TV. Because <laughs> I heard there, Janet of Sleater Kinney, that you've never had a carbonated beverage in your life? That is correct. I've, okay, I've never had a carbonated beverage, I've never had a beer, and I've never had an orange. though about Portland, Oregon, and let's say the West Coast is, there's all these weird things happen. What do weird things happen in Portland? What are weird things? Um, I mean, can you say napalm? Napalm? Recently, Sleater Kinney, we're speaking here to Sleater Kinney in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. Yes, we are. Are you referring to the uh, ship that uh, was grounded off the coast of off Coos Bay that had, they had to napalm to get rid of the oil? I just love that in America. Something's going wrong. Bring on the napalm! <laughs> and also, Sleater Kinney, you guys were in top ten lists in Stereo Review. Stereo Review! What is Stereo Review? I know, you're in a top ten list. Uh, we have a plaque from that. Stereo Review gives you a plaque. I haven't received a plaque since my most inspirational uh, softball playing in uh, junior high. But I also have the best, uh, one of the best records of the year for 1997, Stereo Review plaque. It's not up on my wall, but it is in my pile of things to, to save. Well, thanks so much, Leader Kinney, for the interview. We better hurry. Your gig's March 24th in Toronto at the Opera House, right? Yeah, we better go. Let's go. Come on. Yo, this is Sleater Kinney in Vancouver, rushing all the way to Toronto, Ontario, to the Opera House on March 24th, playing. Come on, let's go. Come on, come on, come on. You guys got to get a big gig to play with Bramobile at the Opera House. Sleater Kinney, Sleater Kinney, wave. Sleater Kinney, come on. They got to know you're on the way. Doo 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 doo. Doo doo. <laughs> <laughs> that was my